Hey everyone, Kyle once again. And welcome back on um, on the end of the uh, again reviewing of me reviewing the end of the Leprechaun franchise, thank god. So reviewing the last one, but I'm not like so far I'm not I'm not going to be reviewing I'm not going to review Leprechaun Origins because I don't care about the film. I have no interest whatsoever. To me, you know, going through like six of these was enough. But, yeah. But now we're going to get into the... This one is the last one for me. So we're going to Leprechaun Back to the Hood. And I don't have the DVD. But um, I, it, was, it, was my, it was my brother's. But he gave me... He found, the, found this one. This one. He like which he said I can have for the by collection though, but it seems like he lost the other one some time back. So, but I had to look up some other things to way to watch it so I can know what because I haven't watched that film in a long time and it'll be like the last one time I will have to watch it. But yeah, but at least think at least I'm getting to the last one. Thank goodness, not to. Because, you know, it's been a very much for me, you know, just hard for me to review these ones because they're, the whole, this whole franchise is shitty. This this whole entire franchise. Uh, like I said, I know there's a lot of people, there's probably, you know, lots of people that like this whole series. My brother's a fan of the series and, you know, and, you know, this is know that, you know, oh, you know, you know, you're full of crap because, no, these Leprechaun films are great and this and that, you know. That's that's my brother, you know. But yeah, and he's like he likes the series, and he thinks, oh, these films are great. Because you know, my brother he likes you know the these watchable bad films. You know, that's his thing. He he has like he watches a whole bunch of bad films, and he likes these. You know, this is his type of thing. You know, but that's my brother. If he likes these films, that's fine. If anyone likes these, this whole franchise is fine. But I'm not. <clears throat> so it's been a struggle for me to get through all these because all these are so bad <sighs> but now again to the last one but Leprechaun 2 Back to the Hood it was released in 2003 once again directed video Warwick Davis comes back for the last time as the Leprechaun and still got negative film I still got negative review it's a 25% Rotten Tomatoes and has a 3.9 IMDb so it's a bit higher than Four and into the hood, <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. This is uh, this film is sucks. This film sucks. You know. Oh, yeah. I also say the Leprechaun. The first of uh, the previous one, Leprechaun in the Hood, is much worse. That's the this one. Here's me holding up. I have the, just a show once again. But I, cause I've said I probably said all these about numerous times to about review in this series. You know, like I said before. Number one, grew, I grew up with this one, so that's why I could tolerate this film. And even though I said it's a bad film, but I could tolerate it because I was being, I'm being much more kind to it because I grew up with the film. But I know it's not a great film at all. But plus, I like Jennifer Aniston, I like Ken a lot. Though they're, 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 they were the two highlights in the film for me. And like I said, Warwick Davis, and you know, it's just, it's the character itself. It's not Warwick. Uh, Warwick Davis is it's not. It, Warwick Davis is not the problem. It's the character itself is so shitty, and like I said before he does look the part and decent makeup effect, makes make makeup a costume to make him look like a Leprechaun. But the whole Leprechaun, this whole series has been so shitty. It's not funny. Never was funny, and it was never scary. I was never scared by the Leprechaun to begin with. And he's and the Leprechaun is not an, is not an intimidating villain for a horror franchise. It's not. And. So yeah, yeah. So that's the first one. I already said. It. I already said my reasons. So you can check that out. Leprechaun Two is is very horrible. It's much worse than the first film. <clears throat> much worse than the first film. No one I ever cared about. I didn't care about the deaths were lame and horrible. No one I cared about at all. Like I said, I don't know why he's holding a candle in this cover, which doesn't take place anywhere. And like I said before, in the, the back here. Better than the first, and he's me and the Freddy. Me and the Freddy, I, I call that absolute bullcrap on every level. 
Number three, number three sucks. But like I said, like I said, four it doesn't matter. It just because just because he's in Vegas doesn't mean the film is any good. You have one, I would say, pretty decent uh, a death scene. That's at the end of the film with that uh, that uh, asshole magician. The other deaths were just lame as horrible. And once the and the rhyming, the jokes, I just hate to death. I hate it. I hate. I, I always hate the rhyming, and it's annoying as hell. <sighs> then you get to this one, which I could technically say is the best sequel in the series because I gave more. Like I said, I guess I got more enjoyment than all the previous sequels because like there are some more positive things I did say about. Like I said, um, uh, there were some decent um. For, for, for a low budget with some very um decent practical makeup effects I would I, I, like I said first room when the scientist got turned to that mutated monster um the 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 guy who played sticks Miguel Luna's jr who I do like and I'm surprised that he lived in the film which I was surprised and I liked him and I didn't even mind the guy who played the character books you know the lead soldier in the film. And I did get a few chuckles out of it, so... Yeah, I can technically say it's the best sequel in the series. I can technically say, so... I mean, I can technically say these two are. The first one and the fourth one are the best... For me, are the most watchable ones for me, so... Yeah. And then you get to this one, which is... This one is the worst one in the franchise. Even though I did not mind Ice-T and the guy who played Postmaster. But that's it. The rhyming is, was so much worse, and the jokes are much worse, and you get more... Also, I forgot to mention, this one had, like, the... Then we have the, the lead Marine, who was in charge of the Marines, with the guy who was ended up being a cyborg with a tectonic plate, where he was in a, uh, a guy plays, you know, he was taken over, so he ended up being in woman's clothes. And that joke continued on to this, where... Twice, we get uh, people dressed in women's clothes. One guy who was... Especially who was really liking... Really acting like a guy in Dragon, and the two other lead characters, they dress in women's clothes. I was like, what's with all the women, guys dressing in women's clothes? I don't, it's not that funny, it's not, it's not even laughable. Well, at least what I will say in this one, in this one, Back to the Hood, there is no uh, guys in drag, so I can definitely say about that, There's you don't see that in this film, thank goodness. But the Leprechaun back in the, Leprechaun in the Hood was just so much worse. I hate the rhyme, especially when the Leprechaun's rapping at the end of the movie, which was I hated it. Leprechaun in the Hood is no good. That's why I say. So, but this one, which originally was supposed to, for the original story in this film was supposed to take place working on a tropical island of where you know, you know, um, on a spring break. Yeah, Leprechaun and you know, a Tropical Island is Spring Break. I just don't see that at all. But so they decided just to put it, you know, back to the hood, you know, like a sequel to the hood, you know, because in the title, on the on the front poster, you know, it's Leprechaun back, you know, number two. So back to the hood. And once again, this has no relations with any. Once again, no relation to any other to the, all the, all the other sequels. Another standalone. It's another standalone Leprechaun story, and it opens up with this um, book animation of this the lady who is guess the who is the psychic I guess in this film is telling the story about how there is you know like the ancient times and the king, um, you know, the I guess like the king I guess summoned like all these Leprechauns. The origin of the, it's like the origin of Leprechauns. They come from all their origins and they help the king out, and then the king dies, and then all the leprechauns go back, except for one, and that's, that's the leprechaun Warwick Davis. And then it's now to the present, well, well, not the present, because it's, well, it's sometime in, it is sometime in the modern, because you get this priest who had, who had the lepre, uh, the gold, but he, he hid it away, and he's trying to protect it, because, well, for, he's trying to get the leprechaun, because, Send him back to hell, basically. He sees the rainbow, which is a hor. Unless there are special effects in this, in this, this film's horrible. So he sees a rainbow, and then okay, when you first see the leprechaun, how the leprechaun or whatever it is, gets introduced, 
it's a weird it's weird how he's introduced because he sees the leprechaun, but yet the leprechaun is like for some reason, you know, like how if you appear, he's like he should, he should be fully on screen. For some reason, he's like all the way down here, like halfway to the screen, twice, and he's like he's walking up in slow mo, whatever. Okay, what was up with that? Why was he showing him like? Introduce him like um he's like halfway below the screen. I don't get it, but I don't care. He tries to he fights the leprechaun. He has like this holy water that's with clovers in it, and he's overall he sends him back to hell. He all the hands coming out to drag him d down to hell. Which which you know funny like you know hands coming out and dragging a character, the main villain down back in hell, which are some for some reason a right because like Jason goes to hell, you know when. Jason, all the hands are coming out to drag Jason down into hell. All the hands are coming out uh, uh, out of the ground. I guess like I don't know, I don't, I don't know. They ripped that off from Jason Goes to Hell because you get hands coming out of the ground and sent and pulling the leprechaun down into the earth. And then after that, the 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 priest dies. And then sometime later, I guess a year, I guess a year or a few years later, I don't know. I guess I, I, I guess it's a year later, and to get the the lead girl who um works in this beauty salon and she has an ex-boyfriend who is a drug dealer and which he has another girlfriend and you have uh this uh, stoner guy who's a friend um then she has another um another friend another girl who wants to go to college and the lead girl he she wants to get out of this place and go someplace else away from here uh but then they have that and then this then one thing leads to another which they um get into a scuffle with like the her ex gets a scuffle with um this other gang um and then one leads to another they have this barbecue on the on the set where we know the priest buried the gold from early from the beginning and the lead girl, she falls down a hole, and she goes to this hidden tunnel, and she finds the gold, and then this, well, before that, I, uh, she, um, she, her and her, her and her friend visit the psychic lady, and tell us what's her future, and she says, oh, there's riches, and then she has all, she has all the all these horrible flashes of these horrible incidences, like, involving with the leprechaun, but she doesn't say anything. And back with that, she falls down the hole and gets the gold, and then this brings the leprechaun back. And now they have all this gold so they can do anything they want now. So they decide to spend it on shop, they go shopping, buy all the stuff. And, but the girl does not, doesn't, she doesn't use the gold to, um, you know, because she said she wants to leave this, leave this, leave this place and go someplace else, but she doesn't. I guess she's too corrupted by the gold or blinded by the gold to realize that. Cause that, but whatever. And then there was this party. The leprechaun comes back, and now also one other thing. Um, they do they do a different um a costume change with the leprechaun. You guys, you know how? Let's see here. Because um. They 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 change they change the outfit of the leprechaun because you know usually leprechaun has his usual his usual uh, green you know how a leprechaun looks like his like green outfit you know whatever now he has like this um new uh, look to him like um really, like he's from the old ages he doesn't have a green outfit it's like more of a darker outfit to make him look like from the middle ages. And I guess to be fair, I guess I prefer the other look because you know he does look like a leprechaun and this and that. Well, the costume, wise. And and I don't think. And also, I guess I'll give another thing though. I guess there there was um there wasn't them that much rhyming that I remember. If if I if I if if I if there, if there was it went one ear and out the other for me, but I don't think that I remember that. But there was that, not that much rhyming in it, thank goodness. But it doesn't help the film because the film still sucks. Uh, see, so the leprechaun is at this party. He gets high with this guy, you know, smoke, you know, smoking a bong, and then he sees a, a guy has a, one of his gold coins, 
tells him to go back, and then if he, do, he doesn't, then the guy he stabs the guy with the bong. And then and then he's still he's still stoned. He's like swabbing around in the kitchen where one of the guys, I guess that's the, the stoner guy. He's making a sandwich, and the guy, okay, you get the yeah, you either see this. I know it's a lame joke where oh, you know, because he, he the guy doesn't notice the leprechaun in the kitchen. He's too busy making a sandwich. And then he, 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 the leprechaun gets shoved in the fridge, and now the leprechaun is getting high with the bong in the fridge. Yeah. It's not that funny. I never found that even funny. And then the, the girl notices sees the dead guy who was stabbed with the bong, but nobody believes her. And this one, 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 I'm trying to remember the best I can, but uh, there was one instance where okay, they 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 one did it want to, she says the leprechaun did, but they'd give her the gold, but it's she cause she's with their um her ex her ex boyfriend, like the chest the, the it comes with a gold chest right, and it's empty, but then ends up refilling itself, you know, so it'll keep on refilling itself and a limited supply of gold, and the guy gets out, runs away with the gold, I guess. And then, and she's back in their hair salon. She has to like, try to get this massage. This woman, I guess, I guess this, I don't know. And the leprechaun gives her massage, gives her massages, and then say the word wrong. Massage. Then she has a choke and starts choking, and then snaps the girl's neck, and then gets in a scuffle with the girl, and she stabs him in the eye with the um, electric razor. And a lot of times in this whole film, a lot of times in this whole film, this whole franchise, the leprechaun got gets stabbed in the eye. Like the first film, he got stabbed in the eye. Um, I forget there was there was one other where he got stabbed in the eye. I forget. Oh yeah, in the in, in one in the one of the dreams, the leprechaun in the hood, where in the you know where the guy where the guy post had a dream within a dream. You know, um, the first dream was with his blind grandma and. The grandma was trying to feed the leprechaun, and he actually stabs in the eye. I guess um, I don't remember call him getting stabbed in the eye on number three or number two. So, or number three. So the three out of the three movies, he gets stabbed in the eye, and then she runs away again. Uh. And then with her, with her um friend, with her um, she tries to call her friend. Well, no, her friend, the one who wanted to go to college, that was with the girl, the lead girl for the psychic. She tries to call for help. The leprechaun finds her, tries to fight it off. You know, sprays. You know the, you know, spray can with the light, the cigarette lighter, sprays fire in his face. Then, leprechaun, jumps at her and then, gets stabs her in the stomach. But you don't really. You just like. Poof. You don't really see it on screen, but it gets you stabbed in the stomach and kills her. And then what goes next with the um, the lead uh, the leads um, ex her ex boyfriend, the ex boyfriend's new girlfriend. Go he Leprechaun goes to her, and because she has she has a gold tooth right here, and she shoots him. But then that doesn't do anything. And then the Leprechaun, he um, what was this? Oh, he got a nice smile. And then. Yanks the tooth out, uh, yanks the tooth, but you don't see, you don't see the leprechaun, like, yank the tooth out, like, I like it, like, in number, like, in Leprechaun 2, what he did with the homeless guy, you know, he, because he had a gold tooth, you do see him yank the tooth out, but in this one, you don't see him yank the, yank the tooth out of it, but the next thing you see, he, you get the idea that she, that he, that he ripped out her, her upper jaw, because you, you see him throw it, and it lands on the ground, and you see the jaw, though, but, Guess you could, but it gets like, but it cuts away of him taking the tooth out along with the jaw with it. So that, and then one, one uh, next to the other that they get some. They get the the couple, the exes I should say. They get arrested by the cops, and the co the leprechaun he kills the cop. He kills the cops like one one. He gets like his nightstick and stabs it into him, and 
one cop and the other cop starts shooting at him, which he can't shoot for shit because he's running towards him. It's not that hard of a target. He's running towards him, but he still misses. Jumps on him. The, guy, the cop starts kicking him, but the cop rips his leg off and he says, give that back and then drops dead. Then <clears throat> starts, start, <clears throat> attack, starts attacking the couple and the lead girl shoots him. <clears throat> and... Then they get and then they, and then they get to the this other the gang where they get they got to fight earlier the lead guy who's who's the leader of the gangster the um, who's uh I guess the character uh, Watson. That's the guy, the lead, the lead of the gangster's name is, and the the leprechaun shows up and is like, oh, and the thing, because they think it's funny, and he starts, he starts beat, he starts, he starts to beat him up, but um, he keep, but leprechaun keeps getting it back up because it doesn't hurt him, but the guy is tired, and then okay, you get another good, I would say another decent gore effect where he. Well, you don't. Once again, you don't see him like do this though, because you do say he gets he guts the guy. But when he drops dead, the leprechaun is actually holding his heart, and you see he's still pumping out blood in this. Okay, you got he's holding. Okay, he's hold, actually holding the guy's heart. Okay, one halfway decent gore effect. Okay, where he's holding the guy's heart, and the guy's um henchman. I guess one of them is played by Sticky Fingers. Really enough. But I don't remember which which character he played. I guess he's the one who had that white um, band around his head. I guess that was him. And he, they 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 get the machine get machine guns. They shoot at him, but he gets back up and kills all three of them in a lame way. I guess that one who guess was Sticky Fingers gets his throat cut. Then the stand um um. The lead girl hits him with a car along with the stoner guy that's with him, and they all get in the car, all three of them, because that was the lead, um, the gangster, it was his car, it's the one that bounces, the, uh, what was it called, hydraulics, that makes the car bounce, and the leprechaun's under the, under the car, and, yeah, you, you, you see, you can see that the leprechaun is underneath the car, but it looks like it's a horrible green screen effect, you can clearly, it's clearly tell that the leprechaun is underneath the car, it's a horrible green screen effect. I can see that. I can see that plain as day. But he, you know, one he gets the the use the makes the car used to go bounce and gets him off. And then guess you get the it gets the joke where um he get he has that um Lee gangster as a cell phone because he, he's talking with the girl earlier. I guess what was it a a sex talk or you know you know what what, what was it, like a phone sex or thing you know he's telling oh you know I'm I guess like quite an answer for me and uh, and once uh, once um. He tells the girl on the phone that he's about three feet tall. The girl hangs up on him. Yeah, that I didn't find, think that was funny either. So they go to the psychic lady and they plan to use um ho make hollow tip um bullets, stuff them with clovers. And which, by the way, so I forgot what speaking with the clovers, the stoner the stoner guy. He had he had um joints that were filled with clovers and it's like oh what because he's telling you because he's talking to his dog you know dog and this and that and i thought was that was kind of a, con a convenient thing because oh because he has joints that happen to be filled with clovers and um i guess they use that and they can make hollow point boys and stuff the clovers in it and the leprechaun comes up you know kicks you see him kick the door down which that was in the trailer he kicks the door down, and then he, and they start shooting at him. Doesn't do any good. Which, of course, like I said, the logic is sense in this because in the first film, it was the lep it was um, you have to touch the leprechaun with a cl four leaf clover, and that would that would kill me. I still wouldn't how he melted, and, you know, with a kiss and fuck you, lucky charms. I guess leprechaun. I guess the four leaf clovers doesn't um, harm the leprechaun anymore in this franchise because, like, in back in the hood. You know, the the two guys they plan to get the use the stuff four leaf um, uh, marijuana joints to get the leprechaun to be stoned, and hopefully that will kill him. But that doesn't. So, I guess four leaf clovers doesn't hurt the leprechaun no more, even though it was his big weakness in the first film. 
like I said, none of these films have no uh, connection or continuity, and it's all standalone stories, and there is no relation with any of the films. Well, like I said before, like I said, with the Back in the Hood, because the, the only connecting thing with Back in the, with this film was this film, because there he was a statue in both these films. I guess that's the only connecting thing with this whole franchise, because I guess this, this one was a prequel to this one, because he lives in this one, this is the only film he lived, and then he dies in this one, and then he was both a statue, so I guess it's the only relation with that these, with these films have. But other than that, though, no other... Relations with any of the films, even though the first film, Clover is hurt, the Leprechaun would kill him, you touch him. Now, the, the next uh, other, um, especially, um, no, not this one. Uh, this film, and then this film right here, Clover's don't harm him anymore, I guess. And then you get, and they get this, <coughs> um, the psychic lady just starts to fight, and you get this horrible special effects. So like, like, she has using her psychic powers, and you know, doing this and this, so, I don't know, it's just, it, the, the special effects is just, are horrible in this film, especially, it's, especially it's silly when the psychic lady happens to have no psychic powers, and she says, what is that, um, a Mortal Kombat thing, I forget, it's from, it's, it's something that you see from a video game, you know, if you have magic powers, you do this, and, or this, boom, it's something straight. It's something straight out of a video game. You would say if you have if you have magic powers, something like that. And the special effects are horrible, and and then she gets killed off screen. And what, I mean, once again, you get another, you get another lame death where a victim is killed off screen. You just hear the woman scream, and you see like you think she's winning, but the leprechaun has you know has a glow, has his eyes glowing red, and then it cuts away to the woman screaming, and that's it. Oh wait, yeah, forgot, forgot. Um, as they're preparing, as you know, as the as the you know, the ex boyfriend, he's um, you know, putting the you know, loading up the permanent gun. He's like, let's go fuck up some little people. And once again, you get dialogue that's just so horrible, like that. You know, he's supposed to be supposed to get supposed to get all, like a badass one line. Yeah, let's go fuck up some little people, and that's. <laughs> oh my god, this is. <laughs> No, nah, but I'm still saying this film is still worse. Though. But the dialogue, like this guy says, is horrible. Like, let's go focus on little people. And as he shoots, starts shooting Leprechaun again, he's like, say hello to St. Patrick's for me. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is so horrible. So horrible at its best. You know, the, line, the, the dialogue in this film was so horrible. Yeah, the film, this film is still the worst one, though. But this film ain't no better. It ain't no better than the, the than this one still. So yeah, then the, yeah, so he's shooting at him and, and it does no good. And the psychic lady uses some horrible spe special effects to try to kill him, but she gets killed off screen because he cuts away her screaming when, when Leprechaun shows his glowing eyes. And then he gets to the rooftop. Oh yeah, from the storm guy, he gets injured because uh uses a bat and the Leprechaun t breaks a piece of the bat, and stabs him in the leg, but he he doesn't kill him. Then he gets a shoot on the rooftop. Um. I guess the Leprechaun gets shot some more, then the guy tries to defend himself with a pipe, and then ends up, one thing leads to the, the girl, hangs from the roof, and... I think there was the ex-boyfriend that, um, he has, like, his, um, his, tre his treasure chest of gold, throws it at him, and ends up sending the Leprechaun and falling on all this gold into a pit of cement. Into a pit of cement, and the Leprechaun slowly sinks into the cement. And then ends, you know, with the with them getting back together, and then the the storm guy is talk, you know, he's playing basketball with some kids, and then the book, because in the beginning, like I said, it's it, it's like a, it's from a storybook, and it ends with the storybook being closed, and the hand gets well, the hand starts to come out. Like, I forget it was like either the as the book is being closed or after the book basically gets closed, and it's, the hand pops out. <sighs> It is, that's, that's, especially, that's a fitting way to end the series, you know. Close the book. Close the whole story on this whole franchise. Yeah, close the whole the book on this whole franchise so that way it ne never has to resurface again. Take that book and throw in the whatever and bury it or throw it in the ocean. So, yeah. Leprechaun back into the hood. 
Okay, I also forgot to say, but Warwick Davis, his, uh, how his, 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 his betrayal as a leprechaun, I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's the character is so shitty, you know, and, but, Warwick Davis always, try, always really tries his best, though, but, the character is never scary or funny or intimidating, that's, that's the main problem. But I would do say, out of all this one, this film there, where, like I said, there's, like, he does, like, no rhyming, or... I guess he get, tries to give, like, more of a serious performance, because you see he's, like... It gives, like, a... That is not supposed to be funny, like all the previous ones. Like, Leprechaun 4, or 3, or especially 5, in the hood. This one's, like, straight-up more serious, and he's out for more straight-up revenge on his goals. And... I guess, like I say, probably this is like the best performing uh, for Warwick Davis as the Leprechaun because he's being more of a, a darker, serious tone for the Leprechaun. And you see, like, like does no like no comedic things. Well, except when um when he's getting high with a bong, and that's it though. But another thing, just like straight straight killing whatever. And I don't know. It's just it's just how the way uh, the performance of the Leprechaun is in this film. It just makes it try to be more of a serious thing than all the previous ones. Like more of the less on the on the comedic uh, tone, of Leprechaun goes straight out more killing and more serious. I would say, but doesn't matter. This film sucks, and yeah, I didn't care for the the co this new costume look on the Leprechaun. I prefer how it was the costume on the previous uh, previous films. So yeah, but. All, uh, any of the characters, the lead girl and the ex-boyfriend, all the other characters I did not care about. Once again, lame characters. Lame deaths as well. And especially one, it, well, one, especially the psycho gets cut away, you don't see her get killed. And one, you know, is ripping the gold tooth out, you don't actually see and pull the jaw out, but it cuts away, you know. And I don't know what's all, the, all these recent cutaways for deaths. Why? Why are they trying to cut away a lot of these deaths here? Especially for this film, and now this film. This film, I'm saying. So. Yeah, this is my... Yeah, so... I'm, finally, this is coming to a close now. Yeah, this is my review for... This is my hope, my review for Blipcon Back to the Hood. Overall, on this whole franchise... Like I was like, if anyone likes this whole franchise, it's fine. I am not. This series is a shitty series. Like I said, my brother, he's a fan of the series, but I'm not. Most most of the deaths in, the, all, in this whole franchise are 99.9% .9 are lame. Lame deaths. Except you get one decent uh, one decent death. And that was from Leprechaun 3, where the magician got sawed in half. All, all, 99.9% of the time of, the, of these deaths are lame, boring, and not scary, or not even all that gory. <laughs> and most of them, and, then, and towards the end of the, of the franchise, they, some of these deaths gets cut away. And I hate, I, I hate the jokes, I hate the rhyming, especially, especially I hate the rhyming, and, you know, Leprechaun lip rapping in, in the hood... It's not, it's not, he's not a scary villain. He's not a funny villain. Yeah, Warwick Davis, he looks the part as a leprechaun. It's decent makeup effects on him. But the character but the character itself is lame and shitty. That's basically it. It's a shitty character. All the all like the the iconic villains are much better or much more scary and intimidating. Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, way he's way Freaker is way meaner than this Leprechaun. Jason Voorhees. Leatherface is much more intimidating villain. Chucky. Especially when you, when you want to compare it to the size of the villain, Chucky is much more better. And plus, I would prefer Brad Dourif's voice. It's, and that's, I would say performance-wise, Brad Dourif, his voice of Chucky is way better than anything in this franchise. Or there's a whole bunch of franchises that I think are much better, or horrible films. I would say is much better than this fr franchise. Jaws of Revenge, I would say is better. <laughs> but I probably won't say much. Like what? That's like totally out of sync. 
I don't know. It's just I'm just I'm just throwing stuff out like which I, I which I would think is better in this franchise. There's or I probably said before Howard the Duck is much better, and it's not a horror film. Like people shit on that film so much, it's because they're one of the worst films ever made. I would say Howard the Duck is much more better than this whole any than any than any of these films. I probably mentioned this before, like I said, my my probably did my review for the first film. You can check that out. Yeah, I think I did say that. But even though even some films that are horrible and get shit, I think it's better than this whole franchise. I'm just I'm just looking at what the films I think is much better than this Leprechaun franchise. The Child's Play franchise by far. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so tired of this franchise. I just, I just want to get this over with, though. But yeah, the film, like the first film, I would say is still, probably still the best because, like I said, I grew up with the film and and I could tolerate it, and I could watch it just because of that. And plus, Jennifer Aniston and Kelly are the only, they're the only two, they're only, they're the only two leads. I would say are the, are the human characters are the best of any of the any of the franchise. They're probably the best ones in the whole franchise because I like both of them. Uh, number four, like I said, in space is probably te technically the best sequel of the series because I it's so horrible I can laugh at because I did get a, get give a few chuckles out of and there was a couple two characters I kind of liked like especially Miguel Luna's Jr. I, I'm surprised I'm glad that he lived and that's one of the things I did like about it. So I gave more positive things to say about Leprechaun 4 in space and then the other sequels in the franchise. So yeah, technically I can say the best ones are the first and the four. That's it. I hate all the other sequels and they're all shitty and the deaths are lame. Characters most 99.9% of the time I hate and I don't care about. So yeah. So this is, this is my review for Leprechaun 2 Back to the Hood, and this is the end of the franchise, so I'm glad it's over with. But if people like this whole, if people like this franchise, that's fine. I'm not going to judge anyone for it. They have the right to like this franchise if they want to. They feel if they think it's funny, it's funny, and I don't think. But to me, I don't think it's funny. My, my you know, especially my brother says, "Oh, you're full of crap. You, I like this franchise. These films are great." You know, it's like, and and it's almost like, shut up. And he's, saying, he's saying that in a, in a jokey fashion. He's like, he's like, you shut up. These films are great. <laughs> he's saying that in a jokely manner about that. But he he does like the franchise. But it's my brother we're talking about. But if anyone else likes this franchise, that's fine. But I hate this franchise. It's not. It's uh, one of the least scary fran horror franchises there is. <laughs> And I can just name other films that are much better than this franchise, especially films that are like horror films that are horrible and stuff like that. Like I said, I'd probably say Jaws of Revenge is much better than any any of this franchise or what else. The Carnosaur franchise, I could say, is much better. Deep Star Six is people don't like. I would probably say that's better than any, this whole franchise. I'm just saying, ra I'm just saying random stuff here because I just think films that get hated on that I like would get appreciated more. Like Deep so Deep Star Six, Deep Blue Sea, what else? Bats, or heck, even that one is much better. Deep Rising is way better. Or uh. I'm just I'm just seeing random stuff though, but that's though those are films I would say is much better than in this whole entire franchise. I'm just getting out random things. Like I said before, even Howard the Duck I would say is much better. I still like I probably said that before, but yeah. So yeah, that's hope. So hope you enjoyed my my um my reviews of the whole Epicon franchise, and I hope hope you enjoyed my ranting on them. If you agree or disagree, that's fine. But yeah, I hope but I hope you enjoyed my review of the 
my review of this Leprechaun franchise, and this whole franchise sucks. And I'm glad I'm, I'm done with them, because it's been... Like I said, I took a break for a while because I probably want to stay away from this franchise. I could, though, but I can't. Because otherwise, if I don't finish them, then I'll probably never hear the end of it. <coughs> so I have to just get just had to get it over with anyway, so yeah. Yeah, technically the best ones for me, the ones I say the best is the first film on number four, and the worst one is Leprechaun in the Hood. But the other sequels ain't much better. Number two sucks. Like, I could probably say... Number two is, I would say, is the second worst, and then Leprechaun Back to the Hood is the third worst, and then Leprechaun 3, and then 4, and then 1, I, I should, maybe I should say that. But I hate this franchise, and they all suck, and that's the bottom line. But I hope you enjoyed my review of this, and my review of the whole franchise. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned on the next movie review, and I'll see you later. Later, I said.